We're going to the top of the Colorado Rocky Mountains to visit with Dr. Chris Ray at the Niwot Ridge Long-Term Ecological Research Station. Chris Ray is studying the pika, an animal that may respond to environmental changes more dramatically than other measurements might recognize. This is called an indicator species. I know of these pikas being these fuzzy little creatures I see in the alpine when I go climbing. What are they? Well, they're related to rabbits, about as big as your fist. <laughs> well, basically I study the effect of climate on the pika. We're up here in the middle of winter when it's really cold. Why are we doing this? Aren't they fast asleep hibernating underground? No, no. Pikas have to stay awake all winter. During the summer, they gather grasses and flowers and they stack it in a hay pile underneath some rocks. And they are burning those calories to stay warm right now. But they're also staying warm because they're covered with a blanket of snow. And what's great about studying them here is they have long-term data from these stations on wind speed, precipitation, temperature, even snow depth. Look at this snowfall! This thing is taller than me! Wow! And under all this snow, there's a hay pile. So there's a hay pile down there, that means there's a pika down there. That's right! It makes me wonder how they're doing up there. So pikas live up in the rocks there too. Absolutely, and up there, there's no snow cover. So how are they staying warm? The snow that you're standing on, it used to last sometimes into August, and now it's off and gone by May. Wow. And we think that's actually not so good for the survival of the pikas. The pika might be a potential indicator for uh, the condition of the snowpack and the condition of the watershed in general. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> By observing pika populations, we may have an indicator for the health of our most precious resource, water.